Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a first impressions and all day wear test on Lottie London. So I'm gonna give you some of my initial impressions, which you're gonna see it throughout the video. So um, you'll get to hear it twice. But long story short, I have seen the Lottie London products at Ulta and I hadn't really heard much about them. And so now I kind of know why I haven't heard a lot about them. So their products are hit and miss, and which is kind of depressing. But I'm doing also a all day foundation wear test with the Lottie London. And so my first impression with the illuminating primer really wasn't illuminating, but it soaked into the skin very fast. So kind of like that. I did, um, this foundation is the Selfie Ready Foundation medium coverage it was truthful medium coverage and it was in light beige so where we started going a little sideways was when i put on the got it covered concealer it says it's in shell it actually really it did good as a concealer but it was almost as dark or maybe even darker than the foundation which i thought was odd for the color shell that was like the lightest color that I could find. The color wasn't exactly good. It creased, you know, underneath my eyes. Eh, not real excited about that. The blush was pigmented, went on pretty fast, pretty well. So I got super pumped about where we were going. Then I got to the lippy and I put on the crayon, the slay all day and oh my god it goes on so smooth so now i'm getting super pumped right because this is going on smooth then i add the slay all day lip and it's going on creamy it dries down nice it doesn't kiss off and i'm thinking oh my god this stuff is great i get to the shimmer squad the shimmer squad looks a lot like the um, guerrero palette from anastasia beverly hills but it does not perform the same so while the colors look very similar it does not give the payoff like anastasia beverly hills not even close so you know if you like a really light highlighter i think this is great it's great for the daytime look but if you like something a, a lot more intense, then I would say go with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in those same colors. Shimmer Squad, I would say it's an okay squad. I wouldn't say that it's, you know, over the top shimmery. You know, that was okay. That was okay. Then I get to the Believe in Your Selfie palette. Holy crap. This, not good. Not good. So the colors look like the colors in the pan and they have all kinds of fallout and they don't sit on the eye. The only one that sat on the eye good was this one, semi. So I just kind of shut down the video and used my Tarte palette to use these browns, but I was having a hard time with the Tarte palette blending. I've used that Tarte palette before, so I know it's not that palette. I think it was because I was going over the top of the Lottie London instead of just taking it totally off and redoing it. So, you know, kind of a bummer there. But then I get to the eyeliners, the Cole eyeliners. I have one in like a purple color, it's called Velvet, and then I have one in Smoke. So the purple went on the waterline really nice. The smoke was creamy and went on the upper eyeliner, eyeliner, the upper eye really well. So, you know, Lottie London got me back with the eyeliner. So what I'm thinking is really and truthfully, well, I do want to see how this, whew, I do want to see how this does throughout the day to see how that performs because these products are really hit and miss. I did try the mascara and the mascara was supposed to be some volumizing mascara. Like I did a few swipes and man, I had to tap out, which isn't good. So I just went back to my regular mascara and you know, put some falsies on, but that mascara wasn't even worth me going into a second eye with it because it was pitiful. So yeah, these products are really hit and miss. And so I think if you're looking at trying to use Lottie London, you really probably need to watch several videos to see what some other ladies are saying because I don't know that I would just go out and try to purchase these products and see which one are hit and miss for me if 
you know, just being a normal consumer. Me doing it for video purposes or review purposes is fine, but you know, if I was just someone that liked to watch videos to find out what I should buy, I wouldn't even try to waste my time on the Lottie London because it is so hit and miss. Um, I'm hoping the foundation holds up through the rest of the day, so being that I don't know how that's gonna go, I got my fingers crossed. So we'll see how that does and I'll film at the end of the day how that sat and you know see if it's a hit or a miss because at this point it is a hit but foundations change throughout the day so I don't know. Oh the other hit I would say is the Ready Set Go translucent powder. It went on translucent like it says it didn't leave white streaks like I've had trouble with someone you know someone else some other products so i actually would repurchase the ready set go so that is in the hit section not the miss section so yeah let's see how this foundation lasts and we'll kind of see how that goes but anyways i hope you have a great day i hope you enjoy this video and that's all i have for right now so stay tuned okay so we're gonna try this bay before anything else illuminating primer so let's see how this bad boy does feels weird not to use my normal primer so this absorbs into the skin really quick so this is a water-based primer enriched with vitamin e I do not have a color corrector for my face since it's a, a little bit, yeah, that's all we're going to say. So now we're going to try the Lottie London Selfie Ready. This is a medium coverage. It's also water-based. It's enriched with vitamin C. The color here is light beige. So we're going to see how this does. And I'm going to do an all-day wear test just to see. So this video might be a little bit longer. So I'm going to put a little bit here. I would say that it is a medium coverage because of my spots. I always gauge how good a coverage is off of that spot there or any redness on my face. For you medium coverage ladies and gents, might be for you if by the end of the day the all day wear test does great. Even though it's a medium, I think I'm okay not building up. So we're just going to keep the medium coverage as it is. All right, next we're going to go in with the Got It Covered. And this is a sponge applicator concealer. This is in the color Shell. So let's see how this concealer does. So there's our little sponge. Oh, that comes out pretty quick. All right, so this color is the lightest one they have, and to be honest, this is not light at all. So that's interesting. I'm not sure how the other concealers do for the coverage, but I would say if you're looking at this one, go with lighter than what you think, because again, this shell color is still dark. Yeah, you can't even really see that I've highlighted with the concealer, but it did build up kind of the foundation, so I guess that's good. All right, so what's next? We have some Ready, Set, Go. This is a matte translucent finishing powder, and it says it is a true translucent. So I always use the Cody Airspun. I just like that one. So we're going to see how this true translucent does, shall we? All right, so I'm going to have to agree. I would agree that this is a true translucent. Some of the white ones, I'm trying to think of the, one of the ones that I had in was not true translucent. Let's just put it that way. It left a white cast on my face and I noticed throughout the day I still had like white stripes. So this doesn't look like I have any white stripes at this point. So I'm kind of excited about that. Next, I'm going to use the Blush Crush. So this color is in Justin. So let's see how that does on the cheeks. Oh, nice pigmentation. Hmm. So I really didn't have to put a lot on. <laughs> and as you can tell, I got some rosy cheeks. So that's exciting about the pigmentation. Now we're going to go into the Shimmer Squad palette. And 
So these kind of remind me of the Nicole Guerrero palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, especially this one. So we're gonna see how these babies do. I think I'm gonna go with this color, The Good Girl. It just sounds cute. So that's got a, a little bit of shimmer, not off the hook, but for daytime, I think that shimmer is nice. Again, it's not in your face. Just a really pretty shimmer for the day, in my opinion. This is called Arch Rival. It is in the color, the color is medium. So we're gonna see how the eyebrows do. And it's got this like, not doe foot applicator, but it's got an applicator, so I'm not, quite sure. I've never used something like this, so may the force be with me. I think overall, if you want more of a natural eyebrow, this would be good for those ladies that like their eyebrows where you can cut someone. <laughs> this applicator probably isn't sharp enough for your eyebrows to look like you can cut someone with them. Again, I think this eyebrow powder and applicator is just good to fill in or if you want a little bit more of a natural brow. I wasn't expecting to really like this product, but it's not bad. Did get the Believe in Your Selfie. I just thought that was a cute little name and there's our palette. So we're gonna play with that today. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. And I think we're going to use the TBT from them. So they have these lip pencils and the lippy in a box, which is nice. So we're gonna try TBT. Okay, I'm impressed with this lip liner already. Lip liners, I like these kind that are like creamy and go on really easy. Wow, already like this lip liner. So let's see what this Slay All Day Long Wear Matte Lipstick does. This is going on creamy, so I'm really curious to see if it's gonna dry down and how that's gonna feel. But so far, I, I've never heard of these products, but I'm kinda liking how that they're going on so far. It'll be really interesting at the end of the day to see how they set throughout the day, not just the foundation, but the lips. I wanna see how everything works with this Lottie London group. So this, this could be fun, this could be a lot of fun. We are going to use this, I'm gonna use this color AM, uh, this is an AM to PM, and it's a coal eyeliner, and this is in the color Velvet. So I'm gonna start out with using this on the inner waterline and then kind of buffing out and about around it. So we've got kind of a really pretty plum color. I wanna get this a little bit into my eyelashes so when I smudge underneath, we can kind of smudge that out. Now that I've got my lips and eyes kind of pre-prepped, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do next. It's always fun just to pick up a palette and go, I don't know what I wanna do. So th this palette is nice, it's cute, sleek, it's cardboard, it's got a little mirror, it's just cute. So we are gonna go in with this color Good Girl. Which is a nice light color because I like to start with the pretty light canvas. Okay, so now we are going to go with some sleigh. And we are going to slay that on the transition. That is a really light color. I actually expected it to go on darker, so it didn't. So we're going to pick up this Beach Bum color here. And let's try that. There we go. So slightly... That's the what color I was hoping that slay would pick up, or at least as deep as slay. Now I'm assuming Slay is really more of a bronzer because that looks like the highlighter and that looks like it would be the blush. So I'm just going to take a bit of Beach Bum and let's see how that does since I didn't really use a bronzer. Nothing like doing something after the fact, right? Because we're getting creative. Almost looks light enough where it reminds me of the Hula Light. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up this color here, which is BFF, probably the blush. But we're going to try to put that on the eye. And this, this does have fallout, so check that out. I didn't get rid of, I didn't tap, boop, I didn't tap, so you can see the fallout there. We're just gonna sweep that away. And actually, whatever color I just put on, I just swept that off of my lid also, so I'm not sure that that's exactly what I was going for. So this could not be a good palette. Maybe it's just for the blush, we shall see. We are now going to pick up this color Fire and I'm gonna try it with a more of a flat brush. It's kind of a plummy type color with some gold sparkle. Okay, you guys see how dark that is? Nothing, nada. Really and truthfully, I guess I'm just going to scrap this bad boy because it the colors aren't setting and yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna even keep going with believe in your selfie. Now I will say the lip has dried down and it doesn't kiss off. So that could still be a great product for the end of the day. So we're gonna stay flexible. We're gonna stay flexible. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes off camera with another palette and then I'll pick back up using some of the other Lottie London. Okay, so I picked up some browns to see if I could go over the top of the Lottie London and that just isn't exactly blending out very well. I, I guess because I have the Lottie London underneath, it's, I normally don't have trouble with these colors, so I'm just assuming that that's, that's our issue. So now we're gonna go ahead and try the Kohl eyeliner. This one is in Smoke to see what that does on the upper line. So, wish my luck. Okay, so that went on better than I'm used to these types of eyeliners going on. Very, um, okay. Hey, they're winning me back, just not with their eyeshadow. So let's see how their mascara does. Will they keep building me back? It says it's an ultra volumizing mascara. Well, I wanna see that, cause I like some ultra volumizing. Holy crud, look at that brush. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that out of the corner of my eye. I wasn't ready for that brush. Okay, I've not seen a brush like that before. I'm not even sure how I need to hold that against my eye. Okay, I don't need to go any further with this mascara. It's not doing anything. Usually by my first pump, that should be filling in nicely, and this is not. So I would say Lottie London has some hits and misses. I think they do good with the lip liner and the eye liner, and the so far the liquid lippy. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my face with other products. I can't keep going, and we will see then at the end of the day how the foundation held up with the primer. So maybe they're better at foundation and primers. They're not exactly good at the colors, what they say they are. Lottie London right now for me is kind of a hit and miss. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and finish out my face with other products and then okay, do my hair. Okay, so it's the end of the workday and I've had this foundation on for roughly 10 hours and let's see how it did, shall we? So the heat today wasn't bad overall, unlike how it's been recently. So I will say there's just a little bit of breaking up around the nose area, kind of spotty. The chin held up well. So really and truthfully, I, you know, I'm impressed with this Lottie London foundation powder. The eyeliner stayed on really good. In fact, I just plucked off the false eyelashes and the eyeliner stayed on really well, although my eyeshadow didn't because I'm having allergy issues today. Hey, I would purchase this foundation again. It did very, very well overall. And those eyeliners, I definitely will repurchase as well the lip liners and the lippy. So, hope you enjoyed this all day wear test Thank you review. so much for watching this all face, total face Lottie London look. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
If you enjoyed the feedback, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a beautiful one. Until next time.